Now that this is running, we could be watching our clock. We would instruct our client prior to have started this to have, for instance, their eyes open. And then at one minute, as this counter counts down, and we're at 60 seconds, I can hit the pause button. Right now, you see that up in the upper left-hand corner, the screen is showing you paused. Okay, so then we can instruct them, go ahead and close your eyes. And then when they're ready, everything's settled, we don't have any artifact or anything going on, we can simply hit the space bar to continue. As I hit the space bar, it begins recording again. So we're recording our second file, which would be eyes closed. Okay. As this continues, you know, we can monitor for any type of excessive movement. Remember that when you're doing a QEEG, the good thing is, is that you're acquiring a, a group of data, but in the post analytic um, scenario, they're able to actually artifact out excessive eye blinks, movement, jaw clenching, any type of motion artifact. They're going to pick the best sections of EEG, and that's what the map's going to be based on. So even if you see, you know, a spike here or there, or you see, you know, a, you know, the client sneezes or something like that, don't worry about it because that can simply be artifacted in the post-assessment phase of this. Um, within NeuroGuide or one of the other databases, they can actually do the selections based on what they consider as good EEG, not artifact riddled EEG. We hit spacebar again, that two minutes. You see that it's paused. At this point, the next section may be under task or something. We're not going to worry about that today for this exercise because our goal is to simply show you how to acquire data and then where to find the file to send to your colleague or to whoever's going to analyze the QEEG for you and process the report. Okay. So at this point, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. Okay. Are you sure you want to stop running? OK. Save EEG file to disk. Yes, you want to hit OK for that. If you hit cancel here, that means ah, I wasn't happy with that recording. I want to start over, and it's not saved. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to then close the trading screen. OK. And now let's go take a look at what did we record. So for this process, I'm going to actually hit the button that says EDF browser. It's actually below viewer change settings. As I click that, I'm going to get a software open. Okay, it's called EDF Browser. I then need to go to File, Open, and that's in the upper left hand corner. Okay, takes the software a few minutes. We then know that we need to go into BrainM20. We then go into Studies D. And the Studies D is for discovery. Realize that you'll have a regular Studies if you have the standard BrainMaster software, but we're looking for Studies D. As I open that, I'm going to then find the folder that we just did the recording in. And remember, that was Build Test. So as I highlight that, I then see, ah, look at that, I have two EDF files. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. I highlight it, I hit open. My next step is I get a little um, control box and it's asking me, you know, what do I want to view? Well, I'm going to simply add the signal so I can see what the EEG look like from my recording. That's at a button that's in the lower left-hand section of that box that says Add Signals. So I simply add them. Wow, look at that mess. Okay. But the reason being is remember when we started, we did not have the, the um, filters on. So let's go ahead and take a look as we start scrolling and you see the signal begin to get better. Okay. And here's our data. And again, we're looking at a raw noise signal that was simply filtered. Okay, so this is the file that would go to your client.
They would then import this into, for instance, NeuralGuide or one of the other databases, and they would do their post-processing from there. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to close this upper right-hand corner. Okay. And that concludes what you would need to do to actually acquire the data to then have it post-processed by someone with a complete neural guide database or one of the other databases out on the market. Now, if you actually own neural guide yourself, there's a different step and procedure that we'll see in an updated video later that shows you how to acquire data directly into neural guide live. So look forward to taking a look at that video. It will also be available on our website. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, you can always call BrainMaster at 1-440-232-6000. And then go ahead and click in the menu for tech support. And we can always help you with your needs. You can also go to our knowledge base at www.brainmaster.com forward slash KB for knowledge base. All right, thank you very much.